take one. All right, matey. Hello there. Uh, what, what are you wearing? A Mac? Mine, it's not raining. You said wear a Mac? No, I said Jack, wear black. Oh. Oh, fuck's sake. Because... It's this is my favourite Mac. Yeah, but it's the girl with the spider on red. Oh. I'm, I'm wearing black and leather. And a bowl cut, by the look of it. And a bowl. I'm, I'm the guy with a bowl on his head. And you're the guy... And I wore a Mac with no hair. You're the guy with the egg forehead. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, we watched the girl with a inner spider web. The girl that lives in a spider's web. Um, oh, we've said... Why have we said all this before the intro? <sighs> intro? <laughs> Sorry, I said those things. You know how much I love you, don't you? Who the hell are you? Um, the girl in, in a, a spider's web. In a, the girl in a spider's web with a dragon tattoo this spouts, on her back. This spouts from the film The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Yes, it's a sequel. Yeah. But it's a sequel to 2011's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which starred Daniel Craig and Rooney Mara. No! That one? No. Oh. And was directed by David Fincher. Whereas this has none of those things, and it's seven years later. So, yep. um, what did you think? <sighs> I was looking forward to another one I was looking forward to. If I'm honest, I was disappointed. I was disappointed, actually. Uh, the first one's great. first one's awesome. And the originals as well. I've seen the originals. Yeah. There are even subtitles, not even in the same language, yeah. and I love them. Well, because these are based on books mm. by... Ooh, I don't... I'll put his name here because they're famous books. There's mm. a trilogy, isn't there? Yeah. And there's a trilogy of films in Swedish. Yep. Um, that are based on the three books: Dragon Tattoo, Spider's Web, something on a face. Something else. Um, I can't remember. So then they redid the first one yep. in 2011 with our man DC English. And this is the sequel to the English one. Uh, and I have to say, I don't see the point. I was. A bit bored in this one, to be a honest. A bit rubbish, wasn't it? And nothing really happened. A bit happened. Again? A bit happened. Not a lot, though. It it was a condensed 20-minute story stretched over a two-hour Yeah, period. exactly, yeah. The CEO who beat up two prostitutes but then got acquitted in court yesterday. Get me down! I'm transferring 20% of your cash to these two girls. I'm calling down to security. The rest? I'm transferring to your wife. Account number. Don't! I have one line, one, two. Take your child and leave. He won't hurt you again. If I'm honest, the first half an hour or so, hmm. first half an hour, 45 minutes, I was really like, here we go. This is going to be spicy film. Hmm. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm really looking forward to this. Hmm. And then it just kind of dipped. And I was like... Oh. It, didn't, it didn't really pick up any speed. No, no. Uh, it was kind of not a lot. Um, Shall we go on to acting? Because this is possibly going to be one of the biggest points of it. Because you swap out Rooney Mara for yeah. Claire Foy, yeah. who's most known for playing the Queen, Queen. Um, and Daniel Craig for some guy. Mm. Mikkel Blomkist... Um, was born in this one. He hasn't got the pulling power of Daniel Craig, has no, he? Not at all. I know he's meant to be foreign, and Daniel Craig's not. You know, the character itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Daniel Craig's great in the first Daniel, one. Daniel Craig is a good actor anyway. Yeah, but, but this guy, you know. The main was all right. What's her name? Claire Foy. She was good. She is good. She's a great actress. That's what I mean. Like, the acting is pretty decent in this film. 
bar swapping Daniel Craig out. Mm. It's actually uh, was pretty solid acting. But who for me. did you prefer? Did you prefer Claire Foy as the girl with the dragon, or Rooney Mara? Probably, probably Claire. Do you reckon? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I did. See, I think she looks a bit too sweet. Oh, Claire? Yeah. Do you think? Well, compared to Rooney Mara, I've got yeah. photos here. Rooney Mara looks like she could kill you. Yeah, that's true. Whereas Claire looks, you know what she reminds me of? I think it's just because I've seen her in The Queen. Yeah, but it, that's it, it looks what it like is. a girl that, um, you know, when they just want to rebel from their parents. Mm. Like, I'm getting a gift. I'm so edgy. I'm going to get tattooed, not going to smoke. Like, I don't care, I'm running off. I'm waiting for all the memes of um, like the Queen going downhill. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like the Queen is. Well, she's the queen. The queen, eh? It, whatever the queen does, that is the highest, most upperest class you can be. You can't get above the queen. Mm -hmm. And this is like the opposite. Yeah. You know. But I, I enjoyed the premise that she was betraying. Like, the start of the film where she's like wronging the rights of blokes. Yeah, but she was doing that in the last one. Yeah, that's. but stick with that then. Well, she... Yeah. I don't... The, yeah... I thought Stephen Merchant was great. While Stephen was Merchant's really good, way. actually. He's been getting better and better. He was very underrated he was, as an actor for me. He was good in Logan. Yeah. Um, he's been good in... What else was he in? He's slowly creeping in. Was he in a programme called Girls, maybe? Or Dating or something? Pass. I don't know, but he's been... He's, he's up in his resume mm. in acting, moving away from comedic roles into more serious drama. And for a seven-foot guy that looks a bit weird... He's, he's, you know what? He's, he's doing a good he's, job. I think he's really good. Mm. One of the, one of the. He, he gets stereotyped pilots. into into a bit of a nerd every time, mm. but he's he's got that look about him, hasn't he? Mm. Um, so he's never going to be an action hero, but good acting. Well done, Stephen. Yeah. yeah, props to him. Mr. Chen has bankrolled your company for years. Isn't this his wife? You bitch! He tried to contact your wife again. Or if anything unexpected should happen to her, this video will be sent to him. Um, cinematography. Cinematography. No, cinematography. Cinematography. I don't care what you have for breakfast. Cinematography. Cinematography. Uh, he's broken. What did you? Th what did you think? Uh, Fede, because the director uh, is. Pause. Fede, I think he's Fede Alvarez. Yes, Fede Alvarez. Who made um, the Evil Dead remake, mm. which is um, a good film, but a monstrosity. Yeah. Um, and Don't Breathe. Okay. See that one? Where they sneak into the house and it's a blind guy. I haven't it. seen it, but... Really I'm good. Um, so this is his third, I believe, it looks like his third major film. Mm. Um... I think I they played it a bit safe. No, I'm I, honest. Thought, I thought it was great. Did you? Similar to the first one, it feels like he was maybe doing a Fincher tribute at. Mm. Fincher? Is it Fincher? I just thought it was plain Fincher. safe. But, no, I really like it. I like the fact that this is possibly, bar black and white films, one of the most black and white films you'll ever see. Mm. Um, everything's very muted. Everything's very toned down. Everything's very, very drab and miserable looking. Mm. Um, the woman in... I want to say the woman in black, but she's the girl with the dragon tattoo, a.k.a. the woman in black. Yeah. Always wears black. Um, great contrast to the white snow everywhere. I love the, the snow coming through the roof as well. Well, I do, but I've got issues about that. But what I mean is there's never anything bright. Mm. Everything's it's a dull, film. dull and muted, and it, it it's got a it, it sticks to the tone of the film because the film's quite nitty gritty and horrible in it. You know yeah. what I mean? Which is why I think you played it a bit safe because it's like it's not hard to be dull and black everywhere. No, but I, I think I think his camera movements are great. Yeah, the camera very rarely sits still. It's mm. always tracking. Always moving. Yeah. It's always zooming in and out. It's always tracking or panning. Mm. Um, I really enjoyed. It. I thought it was really good. Really good. I think it's interesting in his scene transitions, the way he comes in. He always looks at somewhere else and drifts across mm. and gets you into the picture. Mm -hmm. um, so he doesn't have to necessarily have exposition shots. Mm. Uh, he kind of build, brings continuous. you into the scene yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, with the camera movement. Uh, I think it was good. I really like him. I think he's a great director. Mm. The, 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 the issue with this film is not the cinematography. I think it's the script. Oh, massively, yeah. <laughs> 
just jump into spoilers then for 10 minutes. Yes, 10 minutes? Yeah. Just 10? Yeah. Go on then. What do you want to say? What do you think? All oh, right, yes, spoilers. <laughs> Um, no, wait. Yeah, go on. What, have you got to say about spoilers? Um, I've never seen so much leather in a film, unless it was, um, a leather film. Shit, I need to think of a joke about that. I think the main isn't as good as she should be. But you just said you really like her? She, yeah, but she's always getting battered. Oh, you mean, yeah, but she's not a fighter, that's why I like her. I like the fact that she's so gets why, battered. So she why, her. why has Stephen Merchant she's a, took she's, her on, the, to, got her to this job? She's a hacker, she's a hacker. And that brings me on nicely to my next point. Mm. Have you ever played Watch Dogs? Yes. It's like Watch Dog the film. Yeah, but Watch Dog's crap. Exactly, I'll rest my case. Yeah, I, I have... Oh, we, we said this multiple times. I'll just get my phone out. I hate that. The one phone... Hack door! To hack the world. What?! Yeah, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. That's my main issue. Instead of um, writing in clever ways to get around the issue... It's they, lazy. They just have... Um, <laughs> done now. It's you so know what lazy. I mean? It's annoying because every situation, it's like, I'll just get my phone out and yeah. hack them. Uh, and she goes to these hideouts that she's got. For for main for the main instance, instant number one, the car, she manages to hack the coordinates of the car based on the number plate instantly, which then gives a GPS location real time updates somehow. Um, which then she manages to within three seconds hack into the cameras in a BMW. No, the back of the seats. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the screens, not the cameras. The monitors, but the, the seats. The monitors in the back of the seats. Say, please take that hat. And then tell the car's airbags to explode from a phone while driving. It's so stupid. It's stupid, isn't it? It's just lazy, completely lazy, yeah, if you ask like, me. It's like we couldn't think of a... I think it's because old... Like, this definitely isn't in the books, is it? You tell me, you've seen the uh, the, the original version. Mm, a long time ago. Yeah, but she doesn't hack everything with a phone. No, does she, does she bollocks? Are you not Elizabeth Salata, the writer of wrongs? What I didn't like also, the fact that uh, in the car sequence, um, just shoot him in the head while he's unconscious. Yeah? Why would you run off? I hate that. I hate that in films. You're yeah. the main character, so I'm not going to kill you. Yeah. No, not her. You're the main baddie. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then, um, should, we, should, we, should we talk about the giant red elephant in the room? How <laughs> obvious that her sister was coming back. It was in the trailer as well. Not only was it in the trailer, but if you hadn't have seen the trailer, they lay it on fucking so thick you almost choke on it. Mm. The first scene, it's about a sister. Then she does one mission. Then she's in bed with a woman who shows a picture of a sister, who then talks about a sister. Oh, she died. Then, and then she shows another photo of a sister. I'm like, God, gee, we get it. It's, Everybody look at her sister. It's going to be a sister, isn't it? Oh, and lo and behold, it's a sister. That reveal was just crap. I didn't care. You know, you knew it was coming, didn't you? Mm. The only twist that was uh, that I didn't really see coming was the fact that it was the police chief. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, man. Um, but I didn't but care. Even that was whack how they revealed that. Yeah, I didn't even care though, did you? No. Because she really had very... I forgot she was... I forgot she was doing stuff. She just kind of vanished for half the film, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, because they were... She was like, you've been naughty to that other guy. Yeah. You've been naughty, I'm going to get you deported. Yeah, and you don't see her until she's like, then, oh, it was me. Yeah. Yeah, you, and then she dies. So what the fuck was the point? The girl who hurts men, who hurt women. Although, my, the biggest issue I have in this film, right, forget the technology, my biggest issue is, why do they kill Stephen Merchant? I don't know. With her as well, like... Yeah, but he frames her. That's the point, isn't it? To yeah. frame her. Yeah. But she's also been injected with a serum. Mm. So clearly the police would be like, well, clearly someone else has been here. 
because she can't have done it because she's collapsed on the floor. Unless they assumed Stephen Merchant injected her, but then he wouldn't have got his brains blown out, would he? But, right, the way I do it is, you have Stephen Merchant, don't you? Yeah. You have his son. Yes. Why don't you keep to kidnap the son and tell Stephen Merchant, if you don't tell me the code, code yeah. I will kill your son. They got it the other way around, didn't they? Much easier. Much easier. Much more likely to work as well. Because then, if he says, no, I'm not going to, then they can kill him. Mm. And then tell the son. It's like they blew his brains out way too quickly. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. I wasn't expecting it, but I didn't care for it either. Stupid, didn't make sense. I did. I cared for it just because I liked Stephen Merchant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I liked Stephen Merchant. But also. But as far it, as the plot's concerned, I didn't care for it. No, it didn't make any sense to me. No. They're meant to be super villains and they're shite. I could never figure it out. Why did you have everyone? But me? Enjoy, not gonna lie, the sniper bit at the end. I enjoyed the sniper. Like the flying through the house. It, it was a bit like it was a bit far fetched. It was a bit stupid. Yeah, I enjoy that. But at the same time, the only reason it's working is because he can make a three D model of the house from the security cameras, which you can hack remotely from a van. Hmm. Bollocks. No. That's all I got to say to that. You got a first in computer science. Yes, I did. Yeah, thank you. It's not possible. Um, even I know that, and I didn't even reach sixth form. It's not possible. Plus, how are you going to get signal that good? You know? <laughs> we still need internet, um, and they're in the middle of a fucking woods. Um, but apart from all that, uh, da -da -da, the other issue is, yes, it looks cool when he's shooting them all through the house, right? Mm. But they're all being shot from different angles and different yeah. places, and he doesn't move. More than one sniper? No. 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 Um, Just lazy writing again. Yeah. It's just technology bollocks, just ruins it for me. Make it believable. If it's not believable, I'm not going to care. It, it's, a, it's again, it's one of these films where the hero can do anything at any point for plot convenience. They've got plot armour, so why am I bothered? You know, I didn't care at the end because I was like, she'll just fucking pull a phone out and be able to disable a nuke while it's in midair mm. or something. And I'm, I'm getting quite sick of slating films, to be honest. But mm. it's make it's 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 hard for me to find. It was just you know what? It's probably not. A, it's not a bad film. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not, it yeah. looks good. It's, it's acting good. The set pieces are okay. It just doesn't really. And another thing, but the plot tells. If together. your house blows up and you're in a bath, you are not going to survive. You might. Jump in the tub, not jump in the shark or jump in the fridge. Jump in the tub. <laughs> yeah, how long does she have to the hold her breath? The whole house food? blows up. How long does she have to hold her breath for? Well, that was convenient. I actually held my breath the same time. And did you manage it? Yeah, so yeah. props to that. Um, and how ironic is that? The whole house blew up, mm. right? And then my man went there. Mm. He got her name, mm. where her girlfriend works, mm. and some else a vital information. If it was a photo of himself. Oh yeah, photo of him. That hadn't been torched, yeah. And the whole house blew up? Yeah, it was on fire for a long time. That's what I mean about this film, is everything is just a bit too convenient again. And she left that door open. How did the explosion not go into that room where she had yeah. the CCTV? Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know. Once you start plucking holes in it, it falls apart, which shouldn't happen. It should Because the first one was great. Yeah. Um, Why is it this but why is it spiders don't get stuck in their own webs? So Jack, all in all, is the girl with the spider on her face um, worth a watch? I don't really know, to be honest. I'd probably say... See, it looks nice and the acting's good, but it's just a mess of a film. Can I have a maybe? No. Can I have a if you're bored no. option? No. It's got to be yes or no. Yes, that's the rules. What if I no, went no for ifs. free? No. For free? No. What if... Stop saying what if. Yes or no, dickhead. 
No. No? I was going to say, yeah. Was it? I think it's still worth a watch if you like these kind of films. If you like drama films, if you like nitty gritty horrible films, if you like the. But it's first not nitty one, gritty and horrible enough, though. It is a little. But nothing happens. Yeah, but compared to most films. I want. I want more. I mean, I mean, the, the daughter has uh, uh, definitely been molested for sixteen years. Oh yeah, that's nasty. And put in a you know a plastic bag every mm. day. So the themes are nitty gritty. If the film itself isn't that gratuitous, I just want more action. I just want to be more engrossed in the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a lot happens, but I'm going to say yeah if you like them. Um, you know, if you, if you like these kind of films, if you like the first one, if you like drama, if you like something a bit bleak and a bit dark and a bit miserable, um, probably. But don't go in expecting it to be as good as the first one because it's not. Mm. It yeah. And personally, I don't see the point in it. No, no, we're going to make another one. Maybe, maybe. Who knows? It's a trilogy anyway, isn't it? Yeah, but so they, they waited seven years and recast anyway. True, so true. In seven years, they might do the third one with someone else. I hope not. I don't know. But I kind of want to see the film in, in English. I'll be thirty-two then. I can't be asked to go and watch the bloody. Um, oh, just whatever. Take it away. So that was our review on Girl with a Spider on her head, whatever it's called. Um, so make sure you subscribe, press the bell, and let you know when the next one's out. Next one's probably going to be Creed 2. So if you're Rocky fans, that'll be a good one. Um, ba 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 Where to go, Rock? Um, Adrian! Go. Adrian! <laughs> That was a perfect impression, but that was pretty good. <laughs> I've been practicing that. <laughs> um, so yeah, go and check out our other videos. Go and check out our worth of watches. Go and check out our crapper clips, which is on every Sunday. Uh, might not be this Sunday. Though. <laughs> In fact, we've this been playing be too much red today. Yeah, next week. So we, yeah, we've been dead busy, but we will get crappy clips out. But the comment, see if you want more crappy clips. Let us know. Yeah, and if you don't, comment that as well. We're going to do it anyway. Do it. Go on. Uh, watch our funnel flops. See what games to play if you're a gaming nerd. Yeah, watch our two of them. Because we are. Um, you fucking nerd. <laughs> uh, what, what else is there? Oh, and Instagram, Average Thoughts Gram. Uh, Twitter, A Thoughts on Twitter. Average Thoughts on Facebook. Go and look us up. If you fancy it. If you fancy it. And as we always say here on Average Thoughts... Watch out for spiders. Yeah, they're real bad. Mm. I don't like spiders at all. And spider tattoos. Yeah. They aren't tattoos, they're just scabs. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've just done that. <laughs> <laughs>